Let's make a text reveal effect on Premiere Pro with just one effect. Start by making your text. So I'm just going to place mine here and I'm going to type reveal. Then I'm going to center it. So hold control on your keyboard and click and drag this little crosshair to the center until it locks in like that. Then head into effect controls and open up your text layer. Scroll down and reset the position like so. So now it's centered. I'm going to extend my layer because what I'm going to do is make this scale out very slowly. So scroll down again to the scale. I'm going to set this to 90 and then 100 at the end. So now I've got a very slow scale out. Next, search for the linear wipe effect, which is underneath transition and drag it directly onto your text layer. The transition completion is how much you want to hide. So if I increase it, you can see it's hiding part of it on the left side. Now, if you change the angle, this changes which side it's going to affect. So let's say I just decrease this. You can see it's rotating towards the left. So try to imagine there's some sort of like bar here or some sort of like object that is covering it, if that makes sense. So if I just keep on decreasing it, you can see it's rotating. You can almost imagine it there. This lets you pick which side you want to reveal it from. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it at 90 for now. And what I'm going to do is actually increase the feather, which is the softness. So if I increase this, you can see that the other letters are very faint. They are visible, but not exactly. So what I'm going to do is keyframe the transition completion to 38. I'm going to go 38 and then I'm going to head all the way to the end and increase this until it's fully hidden. So I'm going to keep on increasing it. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Yep, perfect. And then I'm going to right click on my second keyframe. In fact, let me just show you how it looks so far. And you know, it, well, actually, it, well, what we've done is the opposite. So we've hit it. So this is something that you would do if you want to hide your text. So if I just push this first keyframe to the center, you can see it's a, uh, well, not a reveal. So if I wanted to do a reveal, I would switch the keyframe. So this one's 38 and this one is 64. All I need to do is just switch them around like that. And now if I play it back, you can see I've got a reveal and it's coming from the right side. So let's say I wanted to start from the left instead and make its way to the right. What I would do is I would change the angle. So it doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm going to do is just increase it. You can now see that the left side is more visible. So if I just turn it out, I think uh, let's go 270. That looks fine. The reveal now begins from the left, making its way to the right. But let's say I wanted it to start from the bottom. I would decrease this. So maybe something like this. 180 is perfect. So if I play it back, it starts from the bottom and makes its way up. And of course, other way around, it would be, I think it would be, is it zero? I'm not too sure. Let's try it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And to finish it off, you can actually right click your second keyframe and select ease in just so it looks a little smoother than before. Feel free to subscribe if this helped.